Hello. In the following video, we will demonstrate how to clone a database from a file system database to an ASM database. You know, we have two databases in our um, server installed, that is in uh, VMware. We have installed two servers. One is uh, in, in those two servers, we have installed Oracle. In one server, we have installed Oracle in file system, and in the other Oracle, we, uh, other server, we have installed Oracle in file in ASM. Now we will uh, show how to clone a database from file system to ASM. To do that, let's log into our uh, source database, that is the database uh, which is, in, uh, is installed in the file system. In, uh, here it is. We are now logging into. Let's uh, start the SQL plus. Plus. Okay. Let's see if it is in archive log mode or not. Archive log list. The server is the database is not in archive log mode, so we will have to convert it to archive log mode. So shut down, shut down, shut down immediate. Startup mount. We will have to start up the database in mount mode. Startup mount. Now we are going to alter the database to make it archive log. Alter database archive log. Database is altered now. Alter data is open. Alter database open. Okay. Now let's see archive log uh, archive log list. Now you see the database log mode is archive log. Now we're going to log out, uh, exit the SQL session, and log into the Armen session. Armen target. Now we'll have to take a backup. Not now, we're going to uh, configure some parameters. Show all. So all the parameters are showing here. We're going to uh, change this this parameter to on auto backup uh, configure control file auto backup on. So we're going to do that configure. Control file auto backup on. Okay, this is what we have to do at the moment. Let's see what is the what does it look like now? Yes, it looks like control file auto backup on. We will now log into our other server. We are going to create create the file in the key file of the uh, in our in our current asm database we uh, we have an sp file and we're going to uh, make change in this file according to the files in uh, so that the uh, file locations are appropriate so we're going to make it a p file from sp file 
if r equal to home oracle tmp init rcl dot ora from sp file it is created now we'll make changes in that file oracle this is the init for a file in c this is the location of our destination control file this is the location of our destination control file two control files are this is the location this is the data file location this is the file uh, first recovery area location db recovery file destination this is the data will be like this okay now we're going to make a little change here control we're going to make 01.ctl and also we're going to make a little change here uh, it will be made control control 01.ctl and then control 02 02.ctl this is the change we are going to make here now all other parameters will be will remain same so what we are doing here is we are making we have uh, made a parameter file from server parameter file and we have made a little change in the control file destination and data file and fast recovery area destination are remain same Okay, now we're going to save it. Okay, now it is saved. In it was still DBCA. We can drop the database with DBCA. Okay. Delete database. Next. Varsal database selected. Next. Next. Finish. Yes. Database deletion is complete. So in our ASM database, we do not have any database present right now now what we are going to do is we will take a backup of our source database which is file system database exit now log into armen armen target now we are going to take backup backup database plus archive log database is being backed up database has been backed up now from the source file, so from the source database, we have nothing to do, but we're saying.
let's copy uh, to the ASM database. Okay, uh, now we will uh, log into our main with auxiliaries. Now that now we have the backup copy copied to the uh, destination server, we're going to create a clone database from backup. Now we're going to change the script to. Backup location here. Now we'll start up CD system plus S. CCDA startup moment teach file equal to home oracle dmp init rca dot ora Okay, this is now started in no mount mode. We'll exit this session and enter into the Armen Armen session with auxiliary auxiliary channel. Is not mounted. This is important that it is not mounted. Okay. See in the run command we have auxiliary channel here. Uh, this is the these are the new file locations. Since we had uh, the file locations in our source database in file system, but in the uh, destination database is going to be ASM storage, so we are going to uh, remap the locations for the uh, data files. So this is the command: uh, set new name for data file one to uh, to the location of an ASM storage. So this is the uh, data or cell data file, and this is the new file name. This is how we are going to make the change. Okay. If if there there is no change in file location, uh, if the source file location and the destination file location are the same, you need not mention this this thing. Okay. And also we have new uh, we have set new name for temporary file temporary file one to this one. And the, this is the most important command, which is duplicate database to ORCL. Backup location is this. Now we're going to run this block in Armen. Okay. No.
okay now the database clone database has been created so we have just created we have created a clone database from file system to asm with database backup set now now select file hash comma name from v dollar data file these are the data files used now let's check say the connect to HR. We are now connected to HR user. Select star from cat. So these are the information available. Job. So these are the data we uh, we have available. So now this clone database creation has been complete. I have, we have restored, we have restored or created a clone database uh, from file system database to ASM database. So this here ends our demonstration. Uh, hope uh, this will help you understand how to restore Armin backup to a different database. Thank you for watching. Thank you.